acromegaly causes and treatment acromegaly is a rare condition that results from excessive growth hormone in in the body it is usually due to pituitary gland tumor known as a pituitary adenoma growth hormone is normally produced by the pituitary gland in the brain excessive amounts can result if a tumor develops in the gland acromegaly affects muscle strength bone health and energy levels and it can lead to unusual physical features and medical complications it can take years for the changes to appear premature death is possible and life expectancy may be reduced by 10 years 3 to 4 people in every million receive a diagnosis of acromegaly in the United States each year and it affects 60 people in every million at any one time symptoms the changes brought about by acromegaly take time to develop Changes in physical appearance can be dramatic. They include a large jaw and tongue, gaps between the teeth, a more prominent brow, swollen hands, large feet, rough and oily skin, skin tags. Other changes, changes in, include tingling and lack of sensation in the hands and feet, heavy sweating, headaches, a deeper voice, impaired vision there may also be enlargement of the internal organs including the heart liver lungs and kidneys acromegaly is very rare in children it can lead to condition called gigantism causes the overproduction of growth hormone that is associated with acromegaly normally results from a tumor Pituitary adenoma. The most common type of tumor is a non cancerous or benign tumor in the pituitary gland known as pituitary adenoma. The tumor causes the pituitary gland to produce excess growth hormone, leading to abnormal growth. Pituitary tumors are not genetically inherited from parents. They can appear randomly due to a small genetic change of one cell within the gland. Over time, this cell will replicate and form a tumor called an adenoma. Adenomas are not malignant because they do not spread to other parts of the body but they may cause problems due to their size and location. As the tumor grows, it can put pressure on surrounding brain tissue because the skull is a closed space. This growth can crowd the remaining tissue leading to headaches and vision problems. The location of the tumor means that the production of other hormones can also be affected. The impact can be different for men and women due to the type of hormone affected women may find uh, find that it affects their menstrual cycle while some men experience impotence around 17 percent of the population are thought to have small pituitary adenomas that do not usually produce excess growth hormone or cause any symptoms it is only when a larger tumor occurs that the problems arise. It is also important to note that most pituitary adenomas do not secrete any hormone. However, of the ones that do, growth hormone secretion adenomas account for a third of cases. Other causes in rare cases, a tumor elsewhere in the body such as the lungs, adrenal glands or pancreas can lead to an overproduction of growth hormone resulting in symptoms of acromegaly. This growth hormone may either be produced by the tumors themselves 
or because the pituitary gland is responding to a stimulus to produce growth hormone for example some hypothalamic tumors may secrete growth hormone releasing re growth hormone releasing hormone which tells the body to produce growth hormone sometimes acromegaly is due to increased growth hormone production from outside the pituitary gland such as from neuroendocrine tumors like small cell lung cancer or carcinoid tumors treatment treatment will depend on the location of the tumor the person's age and their medical history treatment will aim to reduce excess hormone production relieve any pressure caused by the tumor regulate hormone levels and improve symptoms surgery surgery may be carried out to remove the pituitary tumor this would stop the overproduction of growth hormone and relieve pressure on the surrounding tissue transsphenoidal surgery involves inserting an endoscope through the nasal cavity to access the pituitary gland the endoscope will pass from the nasal cavity into the sphenoid bone which is a bone separating the brain from the rest of the facial structures removing the tumor should lead to a fall in growth hormone levels however even if the tumor is successfully removed hormone levels may not return to normal and additional therapies may be necessary radiation therapy radiation therapy can be used alone or as part of a combined approach after surgery radiation therapy can remove any remaining tumor cells it can also be used in conjunction with medication to reduce growth hormone levels conventional radiation therapy is given 5 days a week for up to 6 weeks but it may take up to 10 years for growth hormone levels to return to normal in stereotactic radio surgery highly focused intense beams of radiation are directed at the tumor minimizing damage to the surrounding tissue this involves fewer sessions than conventional radiotherapy and it can reduce growth hormone levels in a shorter time medication to control growth acromegaly can be treated with medication alone if surgery is considered too risky or impossible due to the location of the tumor medications include somatostatin analogs dopamine agonists and growth hormone receptor antagonists this aim to stop the rapid growth triggered by preventing the secretion of or the action of growth hormone a combination combination of treatments will probably the best option complications complications can be potentially life threatening they include arthritis cardiomyopathy a type of heart disease carpal tunnel syndrome compression of the spinal cord diabetes hypertension or high blood pressure hypopituitarism or reduced production of other pituitary hormones kidney failure vision loss polyps or prank precancerous growths within the colon sleep apnea uterine fibro fibroids if not treated acromegaly can have a serious effect on a person's health